Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to this video. So we're going to work with applications. So what to do if the applications you want to use are showing error codes or they are not working properly, maybe they are lagging. The first step, this might seem obvious, but but don't underestimate the power of power reset. So we should go ahead and unplug the TV from the outlet for around 30 seconds. And then you plug it back in and then you try to open the application that you were having issues with to see if that fixes the issue. If this doesn't fix the issue, we're going to try to do a reboot. This is a simple step. So to do a reboot on this Vista Smart TV, we're gonna press the settings button right here on the remote, this one. You may, you may see settings or you may see on the remote menu. So either or, press that button and then we're going to scroll down all the way here and we're going to select all settings and right there we're going to scroll down and look for the option that says admin and privacy and right on top you're going to see restart tv this is not going to erase anything from your tv so don't worry you now just have to press the ok button this button right here the center button you press it once and your tv is going to restart it's gonna take around one or two minutes so just leave the tv like that and right after that we are going to see this prompt would you like to restart your vco tv and we go ahead and highlight the option that says yes by pressing the left arrow button and then the ok button and the tv is going to restart by itself as you can see now the tv is coming up and it's refreshing the system in the background so that's exactly what we want to do with this process. There we go. Now it's back online. And now we go ahead and try to open the application that we were having issues with. Of course, we gotta make sure that the TV is connected to the Wi-Fi network. If it's not, then you're going to keep getting issues with the apps because you, have, you ha must have an internet connection to open the apps. I'm gonna open YouTube right now, and as you can see, it's working, it's back online. Of course, if you are still having issues with this, don't worry, I got you. We're gonna do one more step right here. And this time we're going to press the home button like this. Okay, now we're going to press the settings button or menu button on your TV, on your TV remote. This one is the settings button. You press it once, and now we're going to scroll down, and we're gonna select all settings. And now we are going to look for this option right here. It says admin and privacy. And now we're going to look for this option that says reset to factory settings. And right here, we're not gonna do a whole reboot. I'm sorry, we're not gonna do a factory data reset. We're going just to delete all the information from the apps to make them work. So we're going to highlight this option that says reset apps. And we're going to press the OK button, the center button, this one right here. We press it once, and right there, all the information is going to be deleted. And we try to go ahead and, and sign into the application that was acting up on us. And now uh, it should work. And if after all this, you are still having issues with your applications, basically, you will need to do a factory data reset to the whole system, to the whole TV. And to do a factory data reset to the complete system, to the whole TV, we're going to press the settings button. And we're going to scroll down and select all settings again. And right there, we're going to look for admin and privacy, this option right here. And we're going to scroll down and select reset to factory settings. And right there, we're going to move to the left until we, we highlight Reset TV. And this is going to erase everything from your TV. So you will need to go through the setup process once again. However, this must fix the TV. So if after this you're still having issues, you may contact Visio for further assistance. But I do believe that this is going to fix the problems with the applications. So you let me know in the comments. If you're still having issues, go ahead and comment down below and I will be more than glad to help you further. Thank you so much for watching, you take care. Thank you.